I'm sorry. I apologize that the last time that I created a video was five months ago. I just I just need to take some time, okay? As much as I would love for it to do, YouTube don't pay the bills. I got <laughs> Maybe one day though. Hey YouTube, hey. Anyways, um, but yes, as you can see by the title of this video, I'm going to be talking about my Greyhound bus experience. And boy, <laughs> was it an experience. I have never um driven the bus. I don't drive buses. <laughs> I ain't never rode the bus, okay, to a different city. Now, usually if I was just, you know, straight out driving, it would take us four hours. But, you know, because we are on a bus and they have to make a few stops to pick up other people, it took six hours. So, strike one with this Greyhound bus, okay? I had to be there at 5.45 a.m. Like, excuse me, oh, I don't, excuse me, what, huh? I had to be here at 5. So, the first thing was when I walked into the station, it, it's it's pretty basic. It's all gray. I mean, even though it's called Greyhound, I didn't think it was gonna be gray. Yeah, walk in and you don't really know where to go. There's not really a sign saying this is where you're, you know, you're going. It's like a sign saying the different cities, but I didn't see the city that I was going to listen, so I imagined that that was irrelevant to me. Anywho. There, my mom walks up to the counter, I guess, to show the lady her ticket or whatever. Like, I don't know what she's doing, but she walks up there to talk to the lady. And she saw her ticket, and I guess she tells us where to go in line. Now, my mama had to use the bathroom, but my mama didn't tell me where I was supposed to go when she went to the restroom. So I'm just standing there looking around, because the Greyhound, where it's in my city, it is sort of like the like the inner city. So that's where all the crackheads and, you know, all the prostitutes, that's where they all, you know, reside on their corners in respectful alleys. In walks in this lady. Okay, so this lady is drunk. It's like she's someone who can, is like drunk a lot, so she knows how to hide it. But she can hide it from the lady at the front desk. I guess she was talking to the lady about um, when, what time. I don't really know what she was talking to the lady about. And I don't know if the lady got loud or rowdy, whatever she did, because I wasn't paying no mind. I was just trying to get on my bus and get there already, because I was already irritated. Um, she started cursing. Um, at the lady at the front desk and she was like ma'am you need to get out of here you need to go sober up you need to sober up ma'am you need to sober up and i'm just like oh, you Atlanta? can she say that to her okay now she was doing the most though and this lady looked like she was about to jump across the counter on her so i personally wasn't about to go over there and tell the lady to go sit down somewhere because she not finna jump on me too not this one no no okay uh, then in walks this other lady and she was I don't know she was just too crunk for five o'clock in the morning I was like can you do me a favor and a couple nights please and just go have a seat over there away from me on the other side she was walking around talking to random people and just I don't know she was doing the most she was <laughs> my mom said the wherever she's sitting we're sitting um the opposite direction I was like I agree around six oh eight around that time for us to start boarding the actual bus young lady at the desk she was she was at the desk, she was answering questions, she was checking bags, she was on the microphone, checking out tickets. I was like, but dang, is she gonna drive the bus too? Because you, I mean, you're doing everything. It wasn't that many people riding the bus, so I was able to have my own little row of seats, so I just slid um, the bag that I had with me underneath the seat. It would not fit overhead, okay? Now, it was a carry-on, but it did not fit overhead. You don't wanna sit with your bag in the seat with you. Underneath, you're probably gonna wanna check your bag. I don't know the actual measurements. I don't know, I don't know. Okay, we stopped, I think, in four or five, four places I think one of the places we stopped that was a gas station I was like okay oh maybe he's gonna gas up it was an actual bus stop a bus stop was at the gas station I was like okay I don't ride the bus maybe this is a thing maybe you know buses stop at the gas station I got, you know, my there was a stop outside of like a mall and no one was there so the bus driver pulled off and as soon as the bus driver had pulled off and was about to turn onto the street someone came behind him honking his horn he was not having it so i thought he was gonna keep going because he heard him blowing and he was like oh i'm not finna stop and i was like bus driver, you might want to stop because you know people get drugged off buses so you might want to <laughs> then we got to the greyhound station that was <sighs> think it was someone's thing then it comes tuesday and it's time for me to check out of my hotel and then I had to take an Uber to the Greyhound station. Now, it was raining all day. My Uber's navigation system didn't work. 
and I was like, okay, so this is a sign that today is going to be a very interesting day because you get in an Uber and the Uber's navigation system doesn't work. We told him where um, we wanted to go and he was like, oh, okay, yeah, well, I know where that is. I'm like, well, I hope because I'm about to cancel this trip. Put our bags in the trunk um, and where he dropped us off at didn't have a cover or anything. So, and then we had to drag our luggage out of the trunk. <laughs> In the rain, we already had like bags on our hands, and we had, you know, he didn't, he didn't get out to help. And I was like, you know, that's fine because I guess that's not your job. I mean, it's common courtesy, but it's not your job. So I gave him a three. So now I'm at the station. Realized the first time that there was like a whole store connected to this Greyhound station, and they had fried chicken, and I was like, um, no, I'm not about to be getting no fried chicken from no bus stop. That's like the first way to like. I don't know, Ebola, um, E. coli, I don't know, something. Don't buy fried chicken from a bus stop. Stupid. Mm. I had to, I ended up checking my bag this time because I had more stuff and my mom was like, you know, we don't want to carry it on the bus, so just put it underneath the bus. So I had, I got it checked and the lady at the front counter, she was an attractive young lady. She was flirting a little too hard, but I was like, you know what? That's fine. I'll flirt with you Um, if this will get <laughs> my bags where it's supposed to be. I was like, yeah, how you doing? Let me show you a little. Oh, I don't remember your name, but if you're out there, Hey, how you doing? You got a job, you cute. <laughs> anyway, she told us to go to gate five. Now gate five was wrong, right? But I I knew gate five was wrong, but I was like, oh, are you sure gate five? Because that's it. She was like, yeah, I work here, I know. I said, <laughs> okay, babe. So our bus driver this time, he wasn't as nice as the other bus driver. I was like, oh, thank you. He didn't say, you're welcome. He didn't say, hi, how are you? It's fine, I don't know who, who peed in your tea this morning. Um, And I hear like yelling all of a sudden. I look out the window and it is one of the passengers that are going with the bus driver. For He was cussing out the bus driver. I was like, sir, please don't cuss out the bus driver because we all gotta get on this bus. He can drive straight off a cliff and I don't wanna die. But I was like, oh my gosh, please, sir, just just get on the bus. So I thought it was all cool. So, you know, I'm checking my, um, checking my phone. I heard yelling again. So I look up and then it's one of the, the attendants, but he started arguing with the, um, our bus driver as well, calling him stupid and dumb. I didn't know what the <laughs> was wrong with this man. I was just like, oh my gosh. I'm gonna go home and that's it. Like. We're taking off and this man is making this long spiel about um have like a, a phone call, make it brief, make it short. I'm like, you can't tell me that my phone call what if I'm what if I'm talking to Jesus? Hmm? Hmm? What if I'm talking to Jesus? What if I'm talking to Jesus on the mainland? You telling me that I have to cut my conversation short with Jesus because you don't want to hear me talk. What? Yeah, I mean I don't I hope this doesn't discourage you from writing Greyhound. I mean you can make your own decision. I don't think I'll be writing Greyhound again. So yeah, that was basically my experience. I just wanted to put a video out there because I haven't posted one in a very, very long time and I know you guys missed me, which was so nice, oh my God. So if you have any video ideas of what you want to see me do um, or something like that, please put in the description box below. If you haven't already subscribed, share this video with your mama, your daddy, your aunties, your uncles, your cousins, your grandma, and them. Stay petty positive kids and I will see you next time. Bye.